Hello everyone, welcome back again to Plax's uh, 3D Shallow Foundation course from uh, Theory to Practice. This is uh, lesson 4 or 5 and in this lesson we are going to explore the shear failure in uh, footing laboratory experiment versus uh, Plax's uh, 3D simulation. If you remember in lesson uh, 2 when we talked about the general shear failure of the footing, we say that when uh, a rigid footing rests on uh, a very uh, hard soil or dense soil, uh, low compressible soil. Uh, so when we uh, load the footing, uh, the settlement increases and when we continue increasing the load, so at some point the load will uh, start to decrease and the settlement increase uh, very much. Also, uh, the shear failure uh, happen at uh, this point and uh, uh, the soil be beneath the foundation goes uh, upward near the ground surface and some uh, soil patches uh, occur near the uh, footing on the ground surface. Uh, this is uh, an experimental example that uh, shows the general shear failure of the small uh, scale footing under axial loading. The question is does plaxus uh, uh, have a power to simulate uh, uh, such a kind of uh, problem numerically? The answer is uh, yes, but we have to be uh, very careful uh, uh, for uh, defining a suitable mesh size for our problem. Uh, so, uh, this is also the similar example. We can see that uh, the uh, shear failure happened uh, on uh, this example, these soil patches uh, indicate that the failure is a general shear failure. And we uh, simulated uh, a problem using a plexus and we also used a refined, uh, we refined a mesh near the footing and we uh, investigated uh, the shear failure of the footing and we found very interesting result. Uh, from the plexus uh, 3D, as we can as we can uh, see in here, uh, similar to experimental uh, results, uh, the general shear failure happened uh, of the uh, on the soil and uh, soil patches uh, 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 happened near the uh, footing on the ground surface. Uh, this is uh, this figure also shows that. Uh, the upward settlement near uh, the footing uh, in the upward direction. So uh, we go to the uh, lesson uh, five. Actually, I uh, used the lesson four, uh, which was optimizing mesh size for shallow foundation in Plaxus uh, 3D, and I uh, save it under a different name, under uh, this name. So we open our example. It takes some uh, times to open. So we go to the uh, stage construction. So this is also as uh, before. In the initial phase, we just have the uh, soil model. So in the footing phase, we activate the plate, which describes the uh, concrete footing. In the loading phase, also we activate the load, and the amount of load also is same as before, which is uh, 1,000 kilonewton per square meter. Also, we can uh, choose a curve in this example. Uh, so the purpose of this example is just to investigate the shear failure. It is okay if you don't uh, uh, select any uh, uh, point for uh, the curve because we will not uh, talk about the low settlement curve in uh, this example. We choose a plate. Okay. So now the problem is. Uh, ready for calculation and we start the numerical calculation for uh, this example. We click calculate. So as we know from uh, previous, uh, this is a uh, fine mesh and uh, maybe it take uh, a long time. Uh, also it may, uh, maybe we will not uh, reach uh, the uh, 100 load which we apply to the problem and maybe we uh, stop the calculation at uh, some point.
so this is a deformed shape of the example get by the material so as uh, we can see in here uh, similar to uh, similar to experimental uh, work we can see in here also there's a uh, swill box uh, goes upward near the uh, foundation uh, also and also this actually this is not a real uh, scale we can uh, go to view and scale and maybe this uh, scale actually is uh, five times bigger than a true scale we can see in a true scale it is like that and we can see that the soil bugs uh, happened near here near the foundation also and we can see the uh, total displacement in z direction and if we go to the view viewpoint and top of view okay so we can see that in uh, this region the displacement is uh, in uh, positive uh, in positive it means that uh, the displacement uh, goes upward not downward in this region so this is a uh, soil bugs actually and we can uh, see uh, we can take we can uh, take a section here like this and also we can see like that maybe uh, direct by the cluster box like that we can see that uh, uh, the shear failure happens at uh, left side uh, most and uh, a small box appear in here and uh, big box uh, appeared in this region we can see that uh, the displacement uh, vectors so we can see in here the displacement goes upward near uh, the uh, foundation uh, uh, sides uh, I also want to uh, show you this example uh, this uh, real example and we have done a finite element simulation using a plexus uh, 3d this is a uh, a low settlement curves from uh, the experimental from the laboratory and also uh, this the right one is a finite element uh, simulation by plexus uh, 3d uh, we can see that actually the plexus is a very powerful program and can simulate uh, geotechnical problems in a very efficient way but you have to be expert and uh, you have to uh, uh, input the plexus uh, through uh, data through soil data and uh, structure data to get uh, the better results actually okay this was uh, the lesson 5 and uh, thank you for watching see you in the next lesson